this trip to uh, Blockswich, I'm going to mention Fisty Park, Grab a Granny, the place when everybody could pull. Well, I say everybody, except myself. I, I never managed it. All my mates used to say I could dive headfirst into a barrel full of tits and still come out sucking my thumb. So, Blockswich, Warsaw. Why was it the one night stand capital of the UK and the best place to get a date in the UK? Well, I'm going to tell you, and it's all down to two clubs. But first, I want you to do something for me as we're passing uh, Chepstow Road. I'd like to get in touch with uh, Leslie Butler, who I dated for a year, and we lost touch, getting on for 40 years ago. I can't believe it's that long, and I haven't heard anything about her at all. So if you uh, if you know her, she went to uh, Frank F. Harrison uh, School in Blockswich. Um, so if you know anything, leave a comment. I'd just like to have a, a coffee or just a chat on the phone and see how her life went after I saw her last. So... What were these two clubs and why were they so notorious? Well, you got um, Fishley Park, over 30s um, disco, or Grabber Granny as it was known, and there was also Hardy's, which used to be a trucker's cafe and back in the, uh, the Thatcher years when there was zero money, and uh, Blockswood is not exactly an affluent area. In fact, the, the one estate, Goscott, um, Back in the sort of 70s and 80s, the local council decided to put all the problem families in one estate. So they didn't disturb others. The problem is you created such a ghetto that the decent people who lived there, um, you were stuck. You couldn't get a job. I remember when I was on the uh, at the dairy in Warsaw, um, they used to get people apply for jobs. And if they opened a letter and saw a uh, address that was Gosket, they just used to chuck it in the bin without even reading it. So it uh, it made it an unfortunate place, but it was a it was a tough old estate. I remember there was no street names and no numbers on the houses, so the police or the TV detective vans or debt collectors they'd come on the estate and they would have no no clue where they were. I remember once a uh, hundred strong caravan gypsy convoy moved into Pelsa Common next to them, and which is they're pretty tough. But they, they were calling the police, they were trapped in their caravans every night because the, all the, uh, the Gosket crew were coming over and, and nicking all their tat and the uh, wheel trims off the Volvos, uh, which it, you've got to be pretty tough to be doing that to a hundred strong uh, gypsy side. The other uh, grabber granny disco in Blockswich was uh, Hardy's. It started out as a trucker's, uh, trucker's calf. And uh, in the hard Thatcher years, when nobody had got any money, um, the girls from sort of Blockswich found out there was uh, loads of truck drivers parked up there every night with their night out money, and uh, the cafe was open, so they started going up there, because uh, Blockswich girls, nothing wrong with at all. Um, that, that just real, real women. They know all the dives, never been swimming in their lives, if you know what I mean. So it used to get up popular with these girls coming up to meet the truckers and having a, you know, just having a drink with them, uh, that they actually built this sort of, uh, sort of CD disco thing on the back, which was like tiny little dance floor. It was just, uh, and they started this sort of over the thirties disco, but it, it was notorious, but not as much as Fisty Park. Basically, if you live anywhere within about fifteen miles of Blockswich, when your relationships ends. You might say, oh, fishly part then, you know, and it was like a cattle market, really, it's sort of, you ought to all sit round the side and then these girls sort of get herded onto the dance floor and, uh, and sort of wiggle it about and stuff. And it was, it was, uh, yeah, it was, it was amazingly popular. One of the weird things about it, come about half 10 on the evening, uh, the place used to half empty, and that was all the ones who were cheating on the partners who couldn't stop out because they were supposed to be just at, you know, um, down the pub or around the mate's house. That sort of disappear. Half of them onto the golf course and uh, sort of finish the deal. And then all you got left was the sort of hardcore people who were actually single, who, who you know, you could actually uh, consider dating. Uh, it was it was an experience. I'll say that about it. So uh, I don't know whether I've got a lot more to say about Blockswich, but uh, 
I've dated a few girls from there and uh, they're just down to earth. As a town, it's pretty nondescript, apart from having one of the roughest estates in the country there. But they've got a sort of class of their own. So I'm, I'm not knocking the place. It's, um, it's just an experience. It's sort of, it's a small town. Not a lot going for it. But uh, it's just these memories, because I used to be a melter around there at one time, so I know how rough it was. Um, if you moved in there and you tried to put a, a, a sort of number on your house, they used to brick your windows, because it was the rule. You don't have any numbers on your house. There's no street names. You just, uh, you never knew where you were there. It was a nightmare if you were a new milkman, because you ain't got a clue where you were dropping this, uh, this milk to. to. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I think that'll probably probably do for this sort of bit of a drive round Bloxwich. Uh, I don't really know what it's like now. Um, I, I think it's improved, but uh, we'll see. But if you can help me out with uh, what happened to Leslie Butler, that would sort of... Because as you get older, you just when you split up with somebody sort of 30, 40 years ago, you think, well, you know, I'll hear what happens to them. And it's just, it's bugging me a bit that I have no idea whether she had a good life, happy life, had children, got married, nothing. I even, uh, Christmas, sort of asked a few people on Facebook, because you think, oh, you just put it into Facebook and their name will come up. But women get a different surname when they get married, and uh, it's just bugging me. I'm being a bit of a internet star now. I was talking to Pew Pew the other day about it. He says, uh, Big Bob, how you're dealing with being, a, being an, a sort of internet YouTube star? And I said, well, it's, it's, I wasn't expecting it really. And uh, not being able to go out my house without sort of uh, young women coming up wanting my autograph and that. It's, uh, it, it wasn't really what I uh, intended. But I shall persevere with it. And uh, my car camping, which is what my channel's about, is starting up... Uh, should be the end of this week, so I'll have my first trip. So if you want to, you know, click all them things you do to, to have a look at that. I'm probably going down the southwest and have a look at that and uh, sleep in the car. And, um, yeah, uh, I forgot completely where I was going with this. Yeah, I need a sort of entourage of sort of professional editors. Oh, actually, I did write a thing. Have I gone through my list? Better uh, than... I can't read my own bloody writing here. Yeah. Not a clue. So, that normally means it's the end of the video. Thank you for having a look. If you're from Block Street and I've offended you, you know, tough really. And, uh, peace man.